Thanks for clicking on my channel, Joy's Way. I'm Joy. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning supporter of mine, welcome back, awesome person. So today, I'll show you all of my mascaras, brand new or used. I have 19 at the moment. So I have this Cover Girl Last Blush Fusion. This one I have a backup for right here. So I guess I ain't got to show you that. I already did. And this is going to um, be getting decluttered soon. I've been using it for a little while. I have this Lash Blowout by It. I think that's by it is what that one looks like and I've only used this a few times but I think it's been open for longer than three months I don't really follow the makeup rules like I just if it works it works I have this AO1 Studios black mascara and that is what that looks like and some of these mascaras I've had a while. Like this AO1 Green Mascara. I've had this for like over a year now. And it actually still works. I just used it the other day. That's why I don't always go off of what the um, suggested time to throw things out. This is one of my absolutely favorites. Tarte light camera lashes oh, except for this one is almost gone I swear like look it's falling apart I have to grab a hold of that but anyways I'm super sad because this one is almost gone it's got drying out I used it the other day well, I'm gonna use it almost every day with that I wear makeup but the other day I used it and it was getting dry so I have this blue AOA A Studios makeup that was just as old as the green one and it still still is kicking and strong I have this elf um, lash at loud volume volumizing mascara there's that one oops there's that one Some of these I use to try, like the e.l.f. one, and then I don't use it again. I use this one a couple times. This is the Ulta Beauty New Heights Lifting Mascara. And this is not a lifting mascara, and I hate this damn wand. So some of my mascaras get way more love than others. This is not really a mascara, but it is a uh, mascara primer and this is my last one and it is by Lunar Magic Vava Pink and this is almost gone too I hope I can get another one on a boxy charm and it's almost gone because it's dried up I have a AOA purple one and this one I've had for a while and I've only used it once I haven't had it as long as the blue and green one, though. I have this um, Desert Oasis. I don't know. I think it's RM. I have no idea. Anyways, it's a mascara. I've used this once or twice, and I really don't like it. Not because, I mean, the wand's a little weird, but you see how all that build-up mascara is right here? I don't like that. But I will use it if I need it. Here's another one of my favorites by Tarte. This is Surfer Curl, or Sea Surf Curl. And there's another wand that I absolutely love. And this should last me a couple of months. I just opened it, like, not even a month ago. I have this Patrick Ta that I just recently opened. And this was okay. Not waterproof. At all. So I don't know how often I'll wear it. I do tend to like more waterproof. And then I have this 
um, limited edition studio makeup volume intense mascara and I don't think that I have opened it yet so I'm not going to so that is what that looks like usually I leave stuff in boxes or packages so that way I know not to use it and then I have this I don't know I just got this mascara in my box charm I don't remember if it was from for November or December but if you didn't see it then it was in November there's what that looks like if you did see it then it was in December because I recorded the November one but I've never had time to edit it and upload it I have a benefit um, lash roller and this is just a medium or like a mini uh oh uh oh come on And Benefit's not bad. Benefit is not bad at all. So hopefully by the time I get to these. So this I did open actually. Let me open it again. I opened it to try out or something because I got this in a boxy charm. But I just don't know why I left it in the box. I think because I just tried it out once. Another one. Um, that's why I don't want to come out. Okay, they're both, this is supposed to um, do volumizing, this is supposed to do length, but that's blue, and this one's pink, and they're pretty much both just like a primer, so I don't know, maybe I should not I'll just throw that box away because it's going to confuse me. And then my last one here is Lash Slick, and I don't know, by Glossier. I don't know who I got this from. I could have won it in a giveaway from a while ago, but that's what that looks like. And that is all of my mascaras. I want to show you the six setting and powders that I have. I have the Makeup Forever I think that's Professional Paris, and I've used this a couple of times. I've had these all since like the beginning of my channel. I've got this Tarte Shape Tape. I don't even know honestly if I've used this or not. No, I have not. That is what that looks like, and still waiting. But I've had this for like two years probably. That's how often I don't wear setting powder. This one is the one I use the most by Siete London. There's that. And I have this Bella, Pelly, Bella Pierre Cosmetics. I've used this one a couple of times. And then I have these two by e.l.f., one in light and one in light medium, because I wasn't sure which color I was, and because I'm a hoarder, I haven't gotten rid of them. And that's the light. And then I figured if maybe I ever got a tan, maybe use this. If not, I let my grandkids play with it when they come over. So that is... That is my six face setting powders. I want to show you my eye primers, which I don't have many of. I have eight of them, it looks like. I have this NYX Glitter Glue. I have not used this particular one yet. I have opened it a couple of times, but I just haven't played with it yet. And I mean, I've opened the box to look at it a couple of times. And then this is my favorite, my Ace Beauty from the shade Light. This is what that looks like. I have this, the Beauty Crop in the primer base, or in the shade Base. I don't know if I like it. Um, I thought it was going to be more of a skin color on me, but it's more of a brown on me. 
This I've had forever. This is my beauty vault. As you can tell, the packaging is hideous. Um, this is very sticky, if it's even any good still. I have to look into that. I've also had this particular um, primer for a while too, I think. I'm not sure. But I have to check it out because some of these primers are really sticky and I don't like them. I have this Busick Beatty... <laughs> This basic beauty eyeshadow primer that I haven't even used yet. It's still here in this little box. Saving the ones that I don't use because, you know, I don't want them all to go to waste. And I have this face gripping long wearing foundation grip primer. But I don't know if I can use this for my eyes. So I think that's what I was told, and that's why I have it. Even though it says it's a face primer for foundation wear. And one of these days I'm going to use it for my eyes. And the last one I have is Amuse Cosmetics Eyeshadow Primer. Oh. And there is that one. Next thing that I want to show you are my shiny face things. So I have this Elmas Superfood Glow Priming Moisturizer. You put this on and it gives you like a full highlight look. And I have this Eloise one that I have not used yet. This I use all the time. Um, especially in the summertime. It's my go-to, my favorite. This is the second one that I've owned. Then I have this Iconic London Illuminator, Illuminator Drops. And um, I've had this since my channel started, so I don't know if it's any good. And I also have this Jekka Black Glow Drops. I've used it once. Not as good as the um, Elemis Food or Superfood. I have this Glow Milk one. Glow Milk is actually really good. Oh, that's so old. It's starting to crusty. I might have to wear that and see if it still performs. And then I have this um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Glow, and I've never tried it.